What's up guys? Today the video I have for you is going to be this look right over here and it's using the You Had Me at Hello ColourPop palette. This palette I got from my BoxyCharm box in April and it's $18 for retail and it comes with a mirror so I think that's why it's $18 as opposed to what we really know from ColourPop palettes which are like $16. The shades in here are really nice. It comes with six mattes and six shimmers. If you didn't see the reaction video go ahead and click up in the eye because I thought it was super boring at first, but instead now I love it. The pigment's always there as with ColourPop palettes, but this is the look that I created using this palette. So if you like it, just keep on watching. All right, so like I mentioned, I'm gonna be using the You Had Me At Hello palette from ColourPop. Uh, actually, before I go in that, I'm gonna prime my eyes with some concealer. I'm grabbing the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in light. I used to really hate priming my eyes with concealer just because I always felt like it creased, but actually lately it hasn't really been creasing and this is actually my preferred method for priming my eyelids now just because I feel like the veins in my eyelids have been a little bit more prominent these days and using the concealer just really gives you a really nice base. Not only is it a good primer, but it also just gives you that nice even base to work with and kind of conceals all those veins. Okay, so now that I primed my eyelids, I'm gonna go ahead and set that. I'm gonna go in with my Cody loose, <laughs> my Cody Airspun loose face powder to prime it, to set it, just because there is no really good color in the palette to set the entire eye with. And for me, that's actually like the most essential part of a palette, I feel like. So in my like Tarte palette, the Tarte Lap palette, I've used Super Mom so much. And my boyfriend doesn't really know shades or makeup or anything, but he knows Super Mom because I've hit pan on that pretty hard. He knows I use Super Mom a lot. <laughs> All right, so now that I've gone ahead and set that down, I'm gonna grab this color right over here, which is going to be winning tickets, like, right? Yeah, winning ticket right over here. And I'm gonna grab it with a big fluffy blending brush and we're gonna go in and blend it into the crease. I really hate the palettes that have like the names on the back, but hey, I mean, it's better than no name, but I just, I always get confused and it's annoying and uh, it's better than no name though. So again, I'm grabbing some winning ticket. Speaking of getting confused, I really hope like this is the right <laughs> name for it, but I showed you it, so it's okay. Okay, so we're just gonna try to keep blending that out. We're gonna go with a color, we're gonna go in with a color and just go over this again anyway, but you really want that first layer to be pretty buffed out. Okay, so it's May and I'm in like this freaking hoodie, right? Because it was cold, but whenever I record, I always need to turn off like my heat or the AC because it's just really loud and I don't like hearing the like really loud air blowing in the background and competing with the volume or whatever. But now I feel like it's getting really warm <laughs> and I kind of regret this hoodie. But the AC did break this weekend and that was not fun at all. It broke on Thursday night. Yeah, it broke on Thursday night. And on Friday while I was work while I was working, I had to talk to the landlord about fixing the AC, but because I was working, I wasn't allowed to be on the phone or anything. So I gave the landlord the number to my boyfriend. And so I'm losing track. <laughs> and so because I'm still training, I just got this job. Um I'm not allowed to touch my phone at all unless I'm on a break, which is, you know, most jobs in general. But, so I get on my break and I go and I check my phone, okay? I have 39 messages. I'm in a group chat with my boyfriend and the landlord and I have 39 freaking messages. So I was like, oh my God, what is this, okay? So I read through it and I just started bursting out laughing, okay? So my boyfriend was being super dramatic about it because he just really wanted the AC fix and he knows I'm like, extra polite about everything so I'd be like oh that's okay if the land if the guy can't come to fix it today or if he can't come or whatever so he was being super dramatic about it because he knew that if it was me talking I'd kind of just let everything slide in we would be melting all day or whatever 
And then, so I get to this part in it and basically, here, let me start the next step. I'm gonna grab, what is this? I'm gonna grab Luxy, this color right here, with a, another blending brush. This is kind of a smaller blending brush and just do the same thing basically. So in the group chat, he basically told the landlord like, hey, we've been good tenants. We just asked that everything's livable. Like our space is livable and this isn't livable. And he was like, okay, so I work at home. Sometimes I have the video call clients and I can't be sitting buck ass naked video calling clients. And I just thought that was so funny, but I was also like, oh my God, this guy is gonna get us kicked out of our house. Like, oh, it was so funny though. But the landlord was pretty professional about it. He, he really handled that well. He was just kind of like, oh, I didn't know that. That really does like, suck essentially he didn't say suck i forgot what he said but essentially it was like oh that really does suck so we actually ended up getting it fixed in two days so it broke on thursday um he was dramatic on friday so the ac guy came on friday but he needed to buy the parts and so it got fixed on saturday all right so what i did with that color is i just buffed it into the outer corner and then with whatever's left on the brush i'm slowly dragging it in through the top same thing on this side. What really worried me about fixing the AC was that when they said they needed to go buy that part, they almost didn't find the part. And he said if we special order it, it would take a week. And I hadn't seen that yet. So I was just like, ah. Oh. But then an hour after that, like I said, I didn't see that message yet. An hour after he sent that message, he sent another message was like, oh, we were actually able to find it about two hours away. So I'm driving to pick it up right now so we can get it fixed. And that was really kind of him or kind of required of him. I wouldn't say required, but it was nice that he could get it done. All right, so the next color we're gonna go into to deepen up the eyes is actually the deepest shade within this palette which is Sparks Fly. So it's this dark brown right down here. And we're just gonna buff it in to the outer corner and just deepen that up. I actually got this brush out of the BoxyCharm box as well. It's just a ruby blending brush or something. It doesn't look like a blending brush and I probably would never use it to buff a transition in, a transition color all over the lid or like all over the top. It blends out pretty well, but it blends out like small areas well, you know, like, cause it's shaped like a pencil brush. So I always feel like palettes should always have like a like shade for like setting the primer and then a really dark shade just to deepen up and also sometimes in, to use in lieu of eyeliner. So today we're gonna use that with this shade here, which was, what was it, Sparkfly? Yeah, Sparkfly. So I'm glad that they have a shade that's like deep enough to use as eyeliner and also deepen up everything, but I'm kind of sad that they don't have a shade to set the entire eyelid. And if you were to ask me whether I think like the dark shade, like a, like a black is more important than a setting shade, a shade you can use to set the primer, I think the setting shade is just a little bit more important just because personally I use eyeliner almost all the time. I know today I said I'm not going to, but that's just because if I'm not gonna have the shade to set my primer, I'm gonna use, make use of this darker shade. All right, so that's that. And then now I'm gonna grab this shade right over here, which is Winning, which is Fool's Rush. And I'm gonna put that on the inner half of my eyelid. When I was thinking about what shade to use, I knew I wanted to put a shimmer on the inner half of my eyelid, but I didn't know which shade. So this palette again does have six shimmers and six mattes. And of the six shimmers, I think like three of them would have worked with this look, but two of them were really in the same like color category. And I thought it would have kind of just muddled together and not really like stood out or whatever. So I decided with, to go with Fool's Rush. Here, let me show you the colors, the other. So I lost some footage, but what I wanted to show you were that was that these were the two other shades that I could have used on the inner corners of my lids. And you see, there's just so close to the like color family that I felt like everything would have been a little bit too muddled away or like too monochromatic, I wanna say. So I ran in with Fool's Gold on the inner, gross. 
<laughs> I burped. <laughs> Alright, so I went in with Fool's Rush on the inner corners and then I went back in with a little bit more purple to really make sure that the purple was noticeable. And then I know I said I wasn't going to use any eyeliner today, but I forgot that I did want to throw on some falsies, so I am going to use some eyeliner. I'm just going to pop in with some of my handy dandy trusty NYX Epic ink liner. Sorry if you can't see anything. I work very up close and personal when it comes to my eyeliner. I feel like everyone does, right? Am I wrong? So difficult to talk and do my eyeliner at the same time. I just feel like it's like chewing gum and walking at the same time, you know? Some people just can't do it. All right, so now that my eyeliner is on, I'm gonna curl my lashes a little bit and then just put a little bit of mascara on since I am putting on some falsies. I'm gonna go in with the Ardell Magnetic Falsies in the, the accent lashes, those things are amazing. So I'm just going in with some Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. This mascara really knows how to hold a curl. So I'm gonna just pop in with some of my lashes, I won't do that on camera. All right, so I'm back. I love these lashes, they're so easy to put on and they're just like accent lashes. And I don't know if you know, but I always cut my full lash length to accent lashes essentially, just because I like that look a lot better with my eye. Okay, and then to quickly go into my face, I'm gonna go in with my Catrice Camouflage, Liquid Camouflage Concealer, and I'm going in with the shade zero, 020 Light Beige. The reason I'm going in with my concealer first and not my foundation first is just because the foundation that I'm going in with can get very cakey under my eyes, so I don't like to have too much product under my eyes, and I don't like to have that foundation under my eyes at all, basically. So I'm just gonna go in and buff this in. I'm using my Eco Tools blender. This is one of my favorite blenders, but it is such a delicate, delicate makeup spot. Like, I feel like I've washed this twice, and it already has like a split in there. Anyway. I recently picked up this concealer and I just really, really love it. The coverage is really nice and it's one of the drier concealers that I've used. And I do have dry under eyes and like really fine lines, a lot of fine lines on my under eyes. But it still works so well and it just, I feel like because it is the drier formula, it doesn't actually, I feel like it creases less. Everyone knows I love my Maybelline Femi concealer, okay? I love the thing to death but it is on the creamier side and I feel like this concealer just holds it so much better. Okay, before I go in and set my concealer, I'm actually gonna go in with my foundation and some primer. That was weird that I didn't prime the rest of my face, but I just did like my T-zone area, so I didn't wanna go in with the backlight primer. Most of the time lately, I really like like either no primer on my T-zone or I'll go in with, um, I'm going with like a no like a pore filling primer on my t-zone just because it's starting to get warmer despite my hoodie but it's starting to get warmer and i feel like having a really moisturizing foundation on my t-zone has been really crumpling my makeup lately and i don't i know it's weird but my foundation will start like breaking up which doesn't normally happen so that was really irritating. So what I've been doing is putting pore filling primer on T-zone and then like my moisturizing, highlighting primers everywhere else. And now I'm grabbing my NARS foundation and then I'm just gonna buff the foundation in. I love this foundation. And the reason I didn't set my under eyes yet is because I'm actually going in with a second concealer if I can find it. <laughs> Again, it is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage but I'm going in with shade 10 porcelain this time. And this time I'm just focusing it directly on the like dents of my eye bags. That is really light. <laughs> and this will kind of just do its best to hide my dark circles. It just kind of plays like a trick on dimensions and shadows to kind of make it look like you don't have that deep dent or whatever from your eye bag. If you don't have super like dented eye bags, you don't have to. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and set it with my Cody Airspun. Loose face powder. All right, to finish up the lash, the eyes, I'm just gonna go in with, I'm gonna grab the shade right over here. I'm gonna place that everywhere on the lower lash. 
And then I'm gonna grab this shade again down here, which was Sparks Fly. And the color that I just used was Candy Graham. And with Sparks Fly, the deep brown shade, I'm just gonna go in on the lower lash line, deepen that up. All right, so I look pretty dead right now, so we're gonna go in and warm up the face. I'm gonna go in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I heard they just came out with like a palette of like their butter collection. So it comes with like the bronzer, uh, blush, and two highlights. So that seems pretty cool, but I feel like if you already own the brush and the highlight, this is kind of the brush, the blonde, the bronzer, the bronzer, the highlight, you know, it's kind of like not worth it. But it is if you don't have it, have any of them. It's four of them for $12. And just one of them themselves is like 14 or 15 dollars so that's definitely a steal you get four for under the price of one mm. you know what's really exciting me about finishing this video is that i have popeyes waiting for me so i really want to go and do that oh my god my hair is such a mess so i used to have hair like literally chopped tear but now i don't know if i want to do that again but having long hair always means i have messy messy freaking hair now and at one point i really liked it when my hair was always a mess because it always looked better but like not this messy okay, so i just have to bronze up my forehead and then it might look like i'm alive again why is this the lighting is not locked is it locked now it should be locked now doesn't look locked. You know what that means? The lighting of this video is crazy. So sorry about that. I'm so mad about this lighting situation right now. To contour my face, I'm grabbing the Tarte Hamptons Weekender palette. I'm gonna auto lock it. Baby! Boyfriend! Ugh, I need to auto lock this stupid shit. Not auto lock, I need to lock it. Okay. Okay, so we should be locked now, but that's super frustrating. Like, I'm frustrated. <laughs> okay, so I'm grabbing the Tarte Hamptons Weekender Contour Palette here, and I'm just gonna grab a Farmer's Market and contour my face some more. Sometimes I use the Physician's Formula to contour, but most of the time it's really, really warm, so I like it to bronze, and then I'll go in with like a contour. You know, to be honest, I thought I was going to return this contour palette, but it's growing on me, so I'm gonna use it still. I'm gonna go into the brush in the blush in here, but I need to be super careful when you go into this blush. If you have this palette, if you're thinking about buying this palette, if you just be careful with it. It is so highly pigmented that the first time you go into it, like, oh my gosh. If you want to see that video, I'll post it up in the eye. Like, I looked like a clown because I didn't know how pigmented this thing was. Look, it's on me. How did it get on me? I don't understand. This is honestly the reason I thought I was going to return this product, but I like the, I like the, um, the contour in it but and the highlight itself in it is also a little bit glittery so honestly it's not the best palette but speaking of which i'm just gonna grab the highlight out of here which is called beach getaway the blush was called summer house and also a really annoying thing about that palette is like there's so much kick up what i'm actually gonna do is i'm gonna grab this shade right over here which is going to be moonstruck and I'm gonna use that to highlight the inner corner of my eyes, my brow bone, my nose, cupid's bow, and then I'm gonna put a little bit on my finger and we're gonna dab it on the tops of my cheeks and then sweep. Whoa. <laughs> so again, dab and then sweep. That's a really pretty highlighter. Okay, but I'm gonna go in with, oh my god, it's in my purse. It's in my purse. Hold on. All right, so I'm back from a purse, and what I grabbed was also from my BoxyCharm Barks. Barks. My BoxyCharm Barks. I'm still saying, my BoxyCharm Barks. <laughs> my BoxyCharm Box. 
and it's the Odessa New York High Definition Liquid Lipstick. It does have a smell to it. it smells like the NYX Butter Glosses. It smells like cake butter. We're at the end of this video now, and we're gonna go ahead and go in with some Urban Decay All Nighter. And by some, I mean the entire bottle. <laughs> All right, so that's the end of this look. Thanks so much for sticking around. I know that was a longer video just because I did kind of walk you through the entire face instead of like a voiceover or walking through one part. But thanks so much for sticking around. If you want to check out more of my videos, go ahead and click there. And then if you want to subscribe, click up there for me. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy watching and I'll see you next time.